We're probably going to Odaibo. I'm not sure if we're taking the boat there yet or the train. I think it's my job now to find out how to take the boat in case we want to take the boat and find out how much it is. And so that's what I'm going to do now. Wednesday of being in Tokyo and I'm having breakfast and I think most of this was no not all of it was 7-eleven so just some random foods I'm gonna have for breakfast I have this I had this before the last time we came and these are really good so I got another one pork ham cheese mayonnaise sandwich very tasty you in a 7-eleven in Japan, you should try one. I'm gonna eat at Omaiwo because I have a bag of them and I have to eat them all before it's time to leave um, because I don't have room to get it back. I have to somehow figure out how I'm gonna get this back and it does not fit in a suitcase so I don't know how we're gonna get it back but we'll figure it out. And I have one more Jack in the Donut. Um, donut to eat a galaxy one so let's check all this stuff out here is the galaxy donut and as you can see it is really really pretty I don't want to eat it but I have to I can't keep it it's just gonna rot if I don't but it's real pretty sorry about all that extra noise I forgot that uh, all these machine things were on so I turned them off and I also put the microphone on, so awesome YouTuber I am. Woo! Alright. Here is the Galaxy Donut. Give it a little taste. Mm -hmm. Mm. Got a little bit of crunch. It's not super sweet, which I actually like. It's not like I'm eating pure sugar. It's good. I really like it. Yummy. Alright, time for the ham sandwich thing here. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's still as good as I remember. <laughs> I'll have to get another one before we leave. Mmm. Tasty breakfast. Not very healthy though. Alright, one last thing to eat. And it is a shrimp flavored umaibo. And I've had these before and I've had them on, in Japan crate and I love them. So I bought a bag of them which is over there somewhere. Hopefully you can see it. But I can't take them back because I don't have room. So I got to at least eat one a day. So mmm, ooh my bow. Mmm, mmm, still good. So tasty. So if you want to try one of those, you can order them off Amazon. They're not very expensive. Of course, it's better to get them in Japan because they're only like seven cents each in Japan. On Amazon, you might have to pay like a dollar each, but still reasonable price to pay to get to try one. And it's worth it. It's like flavored Cheetos. They're really good. And that's it for my breakfast today. We decided to take the boat. So you have to go to Asakusa to catch the boat and there's a boat port there by the river. So if you want to cruise the river from Asaka to Odaiba, you want to come here, the Tokyo Cruise Port in Asaka. It was, I think, 1750. And you'll know you're near it if you're near the river and this is your view. Yep, you can take the Ginza line into Asaka. We took the Express. Walk a little ways, but Ginza line is closer. 
You'll want to get to the cruising port early because the boats sell out quickly and so you'll run out of uh, options to take or you may have to wait a couple hours to get the next boat. So definitely get there early. I think it opens at 10 a.m. So you might want to get there before that. We're getting on the space boat. I hope it's air conditioned or it's gonna roast in there. On our way to a dive alcoholic drinks on here. I didn't know that. They have beer and mixed drinks and wine. So that's cool. Bring your camera because there's going to be lots of things to take pictures of along the way while you're on the river. And um, at one point during the cruise you'll get to go up onto the roof and take pictures up there too so you won't have glass in your way. It's a little scary up there, but just hold on tight and make sure your strap is on your camera so you don't drop it in the water and it'll be fine. This building is the Fuji TV building where you can get cable. In the background is the Rainbow Bridge, which is really cool at night when you see it all lit up. There's also a beach. There's, it was too cold when we were there, but during the summer, I'm sure this is pretty crowded. We were not allowed to film inside Diver City, but there's lots of stuff in there. There's shopping, there's the Unko Museum, which is the poop museum. And of course, outside, as you can see right here, is the Gundam statue. This is where we start losing footage and so we recaptured some of the footage but as you can see it's a little strange and jerky. It's the best we could do, sorry. But at least we were able to save parts of it. Here is Pallet Town just like Pokemon which we didn't even know was there so that was a pleasant surprise. And yes, we are going to ride that huge fair as well. a nice lunch at Diver City and saw the Gundam statue. Um, we weren't allowed to film inside Diver City, so boo! Didn't get any footage of that. Zach did take pictures of our lunch, so I'll put that in here somewhere. And now we're on this big giant Ferris wheel that in 1999 was the biggest one in the world, so I guess they built a bigger one somewhere. Probably London, maybe? I don't know, they got a big Ferris wheel too. But now we're on our way down. And we got this gorgeous view going on behind us. I really wanted to teleport somewhere, but we never found the teleport station. We couldn't film inside Joyopolis, but they have all kinds of cool stuff in there. Crane games, rides, um, a roller coaster, even a haunted house. The only thing I could film was Sonic here, dancing. 
and we were able to recover him. I wish we would have went in the Unco Museum. It looks like it would have been a lot of fun. And also uh, the team lab looks really cool. We didn't make it to those, but maybe next time because we'll definitely be going back. And that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe and more videos will be coming out soon. Thanks. Have a great day. Matane.